Hey guys, welcome back to Programming Made Easy and in today's video we would be understanding the Community Cloud Tutorials and this would be the part 3 of your series. So today we would be talking about the customization of look and feel of your experience builder sites because uh, look and feel is the first impression that matters. So moving ahead this we would be updating a template with the theme panel. So basically within the experience builder site there is a template with a theme panel and administrators could quickly uh, apply changes without doing any line of code. So basically if you could relate it to this is using our prior video that we made on design attributes like how you could manage things from uh, from anything you could uh, make uh, customizable things via uh, design attributes where you just have to drag and drop things and um, provide a value over to those things in there okay so that is a very good approach of salesforce that is provided and this saves a lot of time effort and money moreover the properties set in the theme panel apply to pages in a template and most of the shelf components that are pre-built given to us by salesforce okay moving ahead if you could uh, see in here is uh, this is your uh, just a second uh, yeah so this is your theme panel that is down the uh, component section in here there is a uh, kind of manage branding sets and edit your css so manage branding sets deals with your uh, the colors that um, are to be displayed as the heading colors paragraph colors and in your edit css you provide the uh, your functionality like you don't want uh, the color of your anchor tag to be blue you want this to be green you want this to be red or you want to be any of that sort so you could do with this basically we would be understanding with the practical but just uh, to explain you how uh, you could visualize things i uh, sort out with this approach so moving further is to override your template with custom CSS like just we uh, saw in this image okay so in here uh, use the custom CSS editor in your experience builder to add custom CSS that overrides your default template okay so basically all depends I, I time and again say you that it all depends upon the functionality that you are dealing with like if you could make minor changes to the appearance or out of box components such as some padding adjustments margin adjustments okay like for substantial template customization that we need to make heavily customized templates instead of using custom css we could use a css resource in our lightning web components either we could use the drag and drop aura approach to modify your css in the custom theme layout why am i saying this because there are n number of pages for certain type of pages you want to have things like this color and for certain type of things you want um, the other uh, style so instead of using the custom css that applies to whole you could use your uh, page specific or component specific css either by lwc or by aura okay so moving further guys this is the sample code for your headline text the headline element that we uh, get in salesforce uh, is uh, and how to override this heading element is with this this is the force community headline this is the starting and this is the headline text title that is the uh, key to your uh, headline uh, image or the headline uh, section so let us see that how does this happen I'm going back over to Salesforce so this was my site that we created earlier if you are following our previous videos so see this is a headline and a place viewer you could easily find solutions now see this is the component this is the theme in here go in here edit the CSS so this is uh, so like we would be writing dot force community headline and what is the name of this is headline title text okay and now uh, we would modify this 
in this we would be writing color that is red and we would be saving this okay so nothing happened why nothing happened i think we made some mistake let us see ah uh, yeah guys so what was the mistake was uh, uh the spelling was wrong so that's why uh, it uh, three one error and it was headline title text so and the color was red you could have color green green yellow we go with green yellow save this so see green yellow has came so basically if you drag and drop another headline in here like headline down in here so see this welcome uh, comes in here so why i was talking about that for some specific elements you want this type and for some other you want another type like for example i say uh, i want a new page and i create a new page for test page and in here now let us say i want to drag a headline again so we drag and drop a headline so see this green headline is coming but we don't want that this page should contain the green headline so we want our specific uh, page specific uh, thing so we could go with aura or lwc as per our requirement okay okay now uh, moving further is this applies to heading component in the community so entire heading components as we saw just now moving further is to use the custom fonts okay till now we dealt with some of the uh, um, coloring sections now we would be dealing with the fonts so in salesforce we get fonts but there are not all the fonts that we want as per our requirements so uh, what needs to be done in such cases is we need to have a custom font that we could create and get in our component so how to do this is we could upload this custom component as a static resource and then use this for your headers footers any kind of colors uh, any kind of headings okay so what we could do is navigate to your setup quick find box and your static resource click new and upload the file give this file or or a resource a name and in the experience builder site you have to open on uh, the css by clicking on the themes and click the edit css okay and use the font fields as we generally do so like if you could see the sample code is at the rate font fields in here we would be writing the name of our font family we could give this any name for choice the main thing is to understand in here is the url uh, that is being generated in here so uh, this is the path prefix that is that you got get in your community like uh, test something 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 and after this slash is like home okay home images or anything that could be so this is the path prefix uh from here to here this is the default salesforce uh, slash s salesforce sites slash component this is the resource that we are getting as a static resource and the name of your static resource okay in the theme panel thereafter you would select fonts you would select the primary font or the header fonts that depends upon you and you would use the custom font now let us see how we will go into the theme then fonts then in the header fonts that is or you would use the primary fonts as per your wish you would use the use custom font thereafter add font family name that you entered in your cs editor and save that is when you click this use custom font this redirects opens in here you would write the my first font and this is coming from where this is coming from your css let us see how 
so uh, going back so uh, now uh, what we would be going is see now what uh, you could do is uh, you want uh, some of the uh, fonts so you could go to the fonts.google.com library and you could download a font now as I have already downloaded a font I would be going into my static resource okay this resource I would be giving a new font font community and I would be choosing a file this file is my downloaded font that is I have downloaded this font so I would be opening this in here and cache control should be public okay and save this and now our font is ready copy this name and in here go to experience builder sites go to the theme edit css now what is to be done, done is you have to use at the rate font face you could use font face uh, now in your font face uh, you have to write the font family name and this thing okay i'm just copy pasting for the time uh, consumption only so i'm using this type of bracket and the resource name so now let us see about the path prefix and the resource name so see in my all sites i don't have a path prefix i am having till force.com and i do not have a slash anything so what i would be doing is i would not be having this path prefix because i'm not having a path prefix so i won't write and the resource name is what is the resource name community for uh, font community so go in here paste is the font community and that is it save this now this is seen so what is the name of your uh, uh, font family is my first font that you gave in here now you go to fonts now you want a primary font in here see use a custom font and give this a name that you defined in your css save this so see everything changed to my custom font styling so in this way what you could do is you could provide your custom uh, fonts so that uh, it improves the look feel and customization uh, would be more easier uh, when you uh, create n number of uh, such themes and you could apply to uh, the primary font or the header fonts any type of font that you want okay now moving further so we understood about the sample code in here we also understood how to use this now you are to develop secure sites authenticated and guest users so basically what does this mean is security is the main essential or the key parameter for an organization and in here we are dealing with n number of people from our partners resellers to our customers and end users okay some users are guest users as well we provide them with the community but we have a limited access for those people so how we could differentiate or how we could have a level of stringency so that our authenticated users or the users that we are given permission only uh, gets to access a particular resource that are to be shared amongst this, those types of people so for this where there are a number of approach that is to limit the declarative access to determine a security model that would differentiate between the public and the private assets limit access to your apex classes and flow security and the last one is your sql injection okay so what are these and how we would be implementing this we would be understanding in our next video till then stay tuned and if you have any doubts uh, feel free to comment down below and 
if you think there should needs to be some modification in any of the series or anything you didn't like you are feel uh, free to comment down below thanks for watching